Dawn Warrior belongs to one of the Knights of Cygnus. The biggest feature of this profession is that you can switch between three modes at will under different conditions to achieve the most beneficial output. It is both gorgeous and handsome. At the same time, it comes with the highest attack speed, which is so fast that it is difficult to fully grasp the movement of the character. The seamless combo of skills adds a lot of difficulty to the operation. It is highly not recommended for new players who are not used to the game buttons to try it easily. Although the skill multiplier is low, his ability to use his naturally high critical strike and high explosive damage more or less makes up for this shortcoming. However, Dawn Warrior can only possess the power of this profession through manual play. Under the slow skill casting speed in automatic combat, the performance of the Dawn Warrior may be disappointing. This video will introduce you to the Dawn Warrior. The first is the career advantages and disadvantages. Advantages include displacement with forward movement. Some are bound, some are invincible, and some are super blocking. Even holding a two-handed sword can increase your own speed. Disadvantages include will consume more MP, the equipment growth curve is not smooth enough. The biggest feature of the Dawn Warrior is that it has a sun and moon system. Each skill has two ways to play, and there are a total of more than a dozen different skills. Although in the later stages, they are only used for cool purposes, but there are the sun and moon are tides. Part 2 Skills Introduction Falling Moon Moon Mode The number of attacks by all skills increases by two times within 1,800 seconds. Critical hit rate and critical hit damage increase by 10%. In no mode, after using any skill, trigger to turn on sinking moon mode, rising sun sun mode, increase the final damage of all skills by 10% within 1800. You can turn off the combat mode of sun and moon form. It has both the setting moon and rising sun effects for 300 seconds. Alternately use two modes of skill modules. The number of attacks of all skills is increased by two times. Critical hit rate and critical hit damage increased by 10%, increase the final damage of all skills by 10%. Solar Slash and Luna Divide, the rising sun form will attack enemies in front. The sinking moon form will launch moon fragment attacks to the surrounding area. Soul Element, when the sun and moon forms hit alternately, there is a certain chance of producing a cosmic orb. Cosmic Matter, consume all cosmic orbs. Launch Dark Matter to attack enemies in front of you, increase the duration based on the number of cosmic orbs. This skill ignores anti-shield, cosmic shower, consume all cosmic orbs, meteor shower zone that creates continuous damage, cosmic burst, consume all cosmic orbs, launch orbs to track and attack enemies, Luster and Flicker, attack up to 5 targets. Among the all professional displacement skills, the Stealth Assault attribute has the longest distance and the fastest speed. Impaling Rays, Dawn Warrior's Binding Skill, Wide Range of Technology, attack up to 15 targets. The number of hits is 1, skill damage increased, and cause additional damage to fixed enemies. Soul Eclipse, continuous damage throughout the map. The moment you press a skill, you will be invincible for a short period of time. After the sun and moon overlap, press the skill again to trigger the splitting of the sun and moon. The moment you press it, you can become temporarily invincible again. Overall, the core of Dawn Warrior is the control of the sun and moon mode. It is very handsome, but the price is the complexity of getting started and its reliance on manual control. However, Dawn Warrior is not too difficult, and you can master the trick with a little practice.